Hello, my friends. It is Griff Nelson with Counterculture Coaching and Lifelong Fitness. And happy Monday to you, if you're getting this on a Monday. Um, I wanted to quickly go over a topic that one of my clients um, requested. And that is the topic of building momentum. How do we build momentum? And what I mean by that is, if you're making a change in your life, think about any change that you want to make in your life. And if you think of, say for example, you want to start to eat differently. If you want to start to exercise more, lose weight, uh, sleep better, whatever. Uh, there is going to have to be some behavior modification to make sure that that happens. And oftentimes, let's just be real, that behavior modification is not the easiest thing in the world, okay? And I wanna give you a quick three, I call it my three piece solution that can help you tackle a big lifestyle change because making dietary changes is a big lifestyle change. Changing your exercise habits is a big lifestyle change. And we don't tend to think of it that way. We tend to think of it as, oh, I'm just gonna do that, I get inspired, I look at YouTube, or I watch some videos on how to exercise, I'm just gonna do it. But what we don't really understand is that it is. it takes an investment, it takes a mental investment, it takes a physical investment, it takes an emotional investment, okay? And if we're not looking at it in that context, it's gonna be very easy to get into the thick of it, three, four, five days into it, and be like, oh my goodness, like I wasn't expecting it to be this hard. I didn't, you know, the deprivation if you're of not having the same foods that you were eating, getting out of your warm bed and getting into the gym, right? And so typically when we get into those scenarios, that it's when we throw in the, the, the towel. And the reason that I found in my 20 year coaching career that that happens is because one of these three P's is missing, okay? The first P that you have to be aware of is that there is going to be pain. Okay, I want you to think of this. This is not politically correct, but there's gonna be pain. And if you don't reconcile with that fact, then you're going to get derailed. We expect in our modern day society with so many conveniences and so many quick fixes and this uh, entitlement mentality that we've been bred and cultured to believe that there's not going to be pain. If I want to change, it shouldn't be hard. What I'm saying here is that if you're going to make change, you have to be aware that there's going to be pain. Okay, there's, there's going to be pain. And what I would say to that is that you have to be willing, and this is the second P, you have to be willing to persist through that pain. There is no quick fix. There is no gimmick. You can't get onto Google and find something that when you are directly coming into contact with that different behavior, that different habit, let's say, there's nothing, there's no salve that you can put on that. There's nothing that will uh, take that away. Now you can mitigate it by certain things and maintaining a positive mindset, but you have to go through that pain. When that alarm goes off in the morning and you're in your warm bed, it's painful to get out of that bed and go to the gym, okay? But if you persist over time, it's gonna lead to the third P, which is pleasure. So if you can, go through the pain persistently over time, what was once painful will become more pleasurable, okay? And exercise and eating good, solid, healthy nutrition is just a perfect example of that. Think of it. If you're used to eating sugary processed foods and all of a sudden now you're eating very whole-based foods, very natural foods, um, it's not going to be fun at first, but after a while, your palate changes, your taste buds, your very neurology in your brain changes to actually like that food. So think about that. So be willing to go through the pain, be willing to persist. And if you do those 
two things, you get the reward, the proverbial pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, you're gonna have pleasure, which was once painful. You literally transmute that pain into something that is pleasurable in your life, but it just takes time. There is no quick fix. There is no quick fix. You've got to be able to persist through it. So I hope the three Ps were helpful for you. I would love to hear your comments here. Um, just to let you know, we have our Fab Formation Transformation Coaching System now available. It is a six month health coaching system that will take you from a place of habits in your life that you may not be fond of when it comes to health and wellness. And what we do in the six months coaching system is help you transform one step at a time. Uh, it's a very unique system that we've come up with. If you're interested in learning more, please let me know. Uh, I'd be more than willing to you know, inform you of what it's all about and how it can help you change. But in the meantime, remember this: these three Ps and I hope that they help, I truly do. I hope you guys have a great week. Remember to never excuse away that inner greatness and always remember life is good. Have a fantastic week, my friends. Take care.